One of the challenges I've always faced uh, when musky fishing is fishing clean water. Uh, typically, it's really difficult for me to, to fish uh, big laydowns or a lot of vegetation or weeds with with big lures that have massive treble hooks. I'm always getting hung up. I'm always getting snagged. I always have uh, uh, you know non-productive casts. I want to show you a lure that I basically made uh, to help me with this situation. Uh, we're calling it the Offspring, but basically it's a 16-inch minnow lure. Uh, soft bodied bait that has a belly slot and we can run this completely weedless. We found some big Gamagatsu river hooks and a couple other big uh, saltwater hooks that we can simply bend a little bit and we can run these lures completely weedless. Let me show you how I made it. You can make an original uh, using wood, clay, plastic, uh, an existing lure that you modify, some you want to reproduce. Here we're using Sculpey and we simply roll out the Sculpey uh, to get the basic form of what we're, we're looking to make. We then bake the Sculpey and that'll harden it up. Uh, this will allow us to sand it down a little bit, make a mold of it, um, and then cast a hard one out of resin. We do this so we can machine out the belly um, slot where the hook is hidden. Uh, if we tried to machine or uh, carve up the uh, Sculpey original, it's probably a little too brittle and it's going to break. So for this particular lure, we made a Sculpey original, baked it, we made a silicone rubber mold of it, then we poured a cast resin uh, original that we can sand, polish, paint if we want, fill in any real small nooks and crannies, we can machine the belly slot and get it absolutely perfect. So then we can make a good production two-piece mold. Once we've sanded it down, we're going to mark the belly where we want the slot to be. Here we put it on a mill and machined a perfectly smooth pocket inside the resin original. You can also use a saw blade or any other way to cut that groove in there. If you wanted to, you could have also done this in the Sculpey and sculpted that groove in. But we wanted to be a little bit more precise with this lure so we made it out of resin, machined the belly slot. Now we're ready to make a two piece mold. We use modeling clay to to build up a base and we're going to make a simple two-piece mold one of the bottom including the belly slot and then one of the top we use corrugated plastic to make a a nice mold box to contain the silicone we seal the mold box up against the clay and we're ready to pour the silicone Here we're using High Strength 2, which is a high tear strength rubber, really easy to pour, picks up the exact detail of our original. Uh, we mix that up in a 10 to 1 by weight ratio, pour it over the original, and allow it to cure overnight. Once it cures, we remove the mold box from the base, flip it over, and dig the clay off of the silicone rubber. Once we've removed all the clay, we're now ready to pour the second half of our mold. Before we do that, we're going to sculpt where we want the pour hole of our part to be. We're also going to glue some broken popsicle sticks or tongue depressors on the back tail so it has a place to vent. We're then going to cut locators using the carving tool and mold release it using the UMR. This will prevent the silicone from bonding to the first half of the mold. If you don't have the UMR, use Vaseline. Put a thin layer of Vaseline everywhere that the liquid silicone is going to touch the cured silicone from the first half of the pour. 
We're using duct tape to hold the mold box together to eliminate the possibility of the silicone leaking down around the first half of the mold. We mix up more high strength too and we slowly pour it over the, the top of the lure. We can completely encapsulate the blue clay in the tongue depressors because when it's cured we'll then just cut to those levels and that will open our pour hole and our vent holes up. So we remove the original and then we simply cut down to where the clay was on the second half of the mold to open up the pour hole. We then do the same thing on the back to follow the slit all the way down to help us vent the tail as we pour that. The mold simply sits on top of each other. We mix up our Alumisol. Here we're adding a little bit of Aluma dust, pearl to it to make it a nice white and we're going to be ready to pour it. So once you've added your color to your Lumisol and it's nice and warm ready to pour, simply pour it in the pour hole and follow it down to the back of the tail. Allow it to cool. It takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes in a lure this size. Open your mold up and remove your lure. I'm really excited to show you this new way of decorating your lure. A lot of times we'll use Aluma Dust right in the mold, uh, but we've recently been actually using Aluma Dust to paint the finished product. So after you trim it with scissors and you remove all the flash, take Aluma Dust and simply dust the pattern that you want onto your lure. This can work for any lure, whether it's a, a one you buy at the store or one you make yourself. Here we're going to use a drill and drill right through the head so we can add some eyes. Using a little paint pen, we paint the back of the clear eyes to make them red. Add a little super glue, put it into a small piece of uh, tubing, insert it into the, the offspring, and then glue the other eyes onto the other side. This will hold the eyes in really well. The Aluma Dust isn't locked in, so what we want to do is we use a heat gun and basically remelt just the surface of the Aluma Saw, which will soak in and lock in the color. You can now custom color any of your soft plastic baits simply by using Aluma Dust in a heat gun or torch. Here you can see what it looks like in the water. I can't wait to try it this summer. Uh, I think it's going to be a real versatile lure, uh, especially for real weedy areas. It's got a ton of action. Uh, it, it looks pretty fishy. I think it's going to get bit. Can't wait to try it. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions for us, give us a call or uh, take a look at other videos and uh, the forums at uh, makelure.com.